Hey guys, welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Special thanks to all my patrons. My name's Neil, and it's time for the next episode of Lost. I just watched episode seven, and I'm still kind of floored by how much my opinion of Ben seems to change pretty much on an episode by episode basis. Uh, he's seemingly redeemed which is sort of a nice button to put on his storyline because I feel like most, primarily his story is over ever since he was proven to be a pretender earlier uh, earlier in the show. So, so now he's just kind of coming to terms with what he did in the name of gaining and holding his power on the island. And, you know, for the first time, maybe we're seeing a, a transparent Benjamin Linus who just says what he means and people can trust. Because as fascinating a character as he's been, the number one thing you could say, always say about Ben Linus is he couldn't be trusted. Even if what was coming out of, what coming out of his mouth was so what you wanted to hear. Um, he, don't get me wrong, convincing as heck. He could get you on side. He could make you want to believe him. But... But there's always that niggling part in the back of your mind going, do I really trust this guy because I know what he's done in the past? I love what they're doing this season in that regard. You know, we're getting these moments, especially in the Flash sideways, where we're sort of giving characters the opportunity to find peace. And I'm very curious to see who we tackle in this episode. I feel like we need to know more about Kate in the Flash sideways, although we certainly got a large chunk of her in the episode where uh, Claire went into uh, labor early. But I feel like there's more in her uh, escaped convict. Uh, well, no, she's not convicted yet. Sorry. Um, escaped prisoner uh, storyline. We need more Sawyer. I wouldn't be surprised if we can get more Hurley. And do we do we go back and, and find peace with characters that were on 815 but have died? Do we do we see Charlie in uh, in a flash sideways or an Anna Lucia or or who knows what? We don't even know Anna Lu if Anna Lucia was on the plane this time. And what about Desmond? What was he doing on the plane? I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, because I don't know what's coming next, the all, oh, what what we do know, we we know that Jack and Hurley and Richard have joined Ilana's group on the on the beach, so it feels like we're we've got a we've got the potential for a, a tenuous group there that can somehow counteract what Unlock is up to. Although we don't even know where Unlock is now. Have the, has he gone back to the statue? We know that they wiped out the temple, but they're not staying there. Maybe they're at Dharmaville. Uh, maybe they're somewhere else that, we, uh, that we're not thinking of right now. But it feels like we're starting to marshal forces that could potentially stand against Unlock and his team, which includes Claire and Saeed and maybe Kate and maybe Sawyer. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see where we go from here. Uh, this episode, episode eight, is called Recon. That's all I know. I don't know what it's about. I don't know who it's about. Let's watch it and find out. Claire's camp, right? No, nope, Sawyer's there. Bitch. And is Jin a prisoner or what? Wake up. Claire and Locke. Where are they? Said they'd be back by sun up. <laughs> we have to get out of here Easy. before they come back. Yeah. Well, I'm with Locke. That is not Locke. Yeah, I know. Whoever he is, he says he can get us off this damn island. Hi. So Kate's just willingly going along with them. Baby. Yeah. Weren't you supposed to meet that guy at nine? <laughs> it's eight forty-two. <laughs> of Damn. course it is. You weren't supposed to see that. Exactly 
we supposed to see that? Whoa. Step away from the case. Take it easy, honey. Federal agent? So I know all about the pigeon drop. How stupid do you think I am? <laughs> Pretty damn stupid, actually. The floor. The what? <laughs> he works for the cops? And the fleur is the magic word? A little close, huh? And he's... Got it. Miles is a cop? What the hell? Put your damn clothes on, Jim. You got it, partner. You're a cop. They're partners? Surprise. <laughs> oh. It's just dreamland. The flash sideways is just dreamland. It's like, what what fan fiction do we want to write this week? Locks knives still kicking around. This is a creepy fake baby. What is that? It's on my head. We want to know what happened to the people who stayed behind at the temple. The black smoke killed them. You're with me now, and I promise that I'm going to take care of you. Who knew we'd see, be seeing these kids in season six? So you're with Locke now. Hey, with anybody, okay? Hi, Mr. Cooper. This is Detective James Ford, LAPD. What? What? Can you verify you were in Alabama in 1976? No. Not Anthony Cooper. <laughs> this is crazy. Now speak with Anthony Cooper. Oh, he's calling all the oh, Anthony man, Coopers. Back. Who's Anthony Cooper? Would you, you see him in Palm Springs? Get it together because you got a date tonight, pal. Date with who? A friend of mine. Works with my dad at the museum. She's great. You know you can tell me the truth about anything. Are you lying to me, man? So does Miles have his gift in this lie. reality? Detective Ford. Man, it's going to take me a minute to wrap my head around that. What happened back at the temple? How'd you know to rescue everybody from that smoke thing? I didn't rescue them. I'm the smoke thing. <laughs> All I want to do is leave. So it's either kill or be killed. And I don't want to be killed. You gonna rethink your position soon here, Sawyer? I can't imagine you and Kate just sticking around. You going on a boat ride? You are. Now what's up with Widmore's sub? We didn't even talk about that last episode, but Widmore's got a sub at the island. The Ajira flight. The same plane that brought your friends back. Do some recon. But the Ajira people aren't on Hydra right now, so who's he reconning? Who, 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 who's on Hydra right now? Am I confused or... Uh, who's who's Miles' friend? Who's he going to be dating? Is it Charlotte? Would you be Charlotte? Yes, I am. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Interesting. Welcome back, Charlotte. This is random. Don't you like a... Indiana Jones or something? Yes, I'm exactly like Indiana Jones. You got a whip? <laughs> Why did you become a cop? You ever seen Bullet? Stephen Queen flick? Yep. No. Great car chase. Well, then I won't even bore you with an explanation. Okay, do me a favor, James. Tell me the truth. Got to a point in my life where I was either going to become a criminal or a cop. Wow. Not bad, considering we didn't have that whip. Mind if I borrow a t-shirt? Top drawer on the right. Thanks. Watership down. We've seen all of these books, I think. I didn't see what the bottom one is. What the hell are you doing? What did you see? Nothing. I didn't see anything. Get the hell out. James, just let me explain. Get out! So he's just calling every Anthony Cooper in the world until he finds... A man who did his family wrong. And he's not even sharing that with his partner. But does Miles have his gift in the Flash Sideways, I wonder? Not that it would matter in this particular case, just m me being curious. I'm trying to figure out who's going to be here. I know Ajira landed here, but did they all leave? Ooh, Kate's dress. Don't forget about Juliet too quickly, Sawyer. Do you believe Locke? Yes, I believe 
Saeed, are you all right? Saeed's a zombie. No. <laughs> what the? She took Aaron! She can't just do this! <laughs> Jesus. You all right? No, I'm not all right. Get away, Kate. You are in the wrong spot, Kate. Are there some Majira survivors still here on Hydra, I guess? I guess they didn't all come with Alana and her gang. Yeah. It's a plane. It's not flyable. Right? It was a heavy landing. But Frank's a miracle pilot. That's where they dragged the, the crate away, presumably. Are they all dead? So Locke's been busy. Yeah. Unlock has just killed all the rest. Hey, stop! Is that Alana? No. Who is it? Wait, Harvey. Who's that? Who the hell are you? I'm the only one left. Okay. Interesting time to introduce a new character. Oh. Charlie's bro. Hey, uh, I'm looking for my brother Ed. Sorry, not my apartment. Morning, sunshine. Come with me. Well, you 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 were mean to my friend. Whoa! Oh, shut up. Your... Is there something you want to tell me? Look, she opened the wrong drawer. What the hell are you talking about? I want to know what you were doing in Australia when you told me you were in Palm Springs. <laughs> you lied to me. We're partners. We're supposed to trust each other. What were you doing in Australia? Did Jim... Did he kill the guy? That's none of your damn business. Did he kill the guy still? I feel like, like he wouldn't be connected with right. Robo... Uh, with uh, the T-1000 in not this... Your partner anymore. ...this universe. Because he chose cop instead of criminal. Uh, this... Sawyer's got no closure in this world. I'm Zoe. I Zoe. can't believe there's anybody left alive. I thought I knew everybody on the plane. I didn't come on this plane. What plane did you come on? Long story. <laughs> I was out collecting wood when I heard screaming. Are you alone? <laughs> He's gonna die alone. No. I'm a group of people back on the main island. Thank God. Trust me. God's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Is can we trust Zoe? I like this little location, these trees. I'm sorry, Kate. I was the one who told her that the others had her baby. Have you ever had an enemy? Someone that you needed to hate? Yep. Her dad. I gave her something to hate. The others. Very insightful. Coming from a dead man. Well, nobody's perfect. How many people did you say were with you? A couple dozen. Did they all come on the same plane as you? When did you crash? Do you all have guns? You're good, sweetheart, but you ain't that good. What are you talking about? Who are you? Who is she? Put your weapon down! Whoa. Okay. Who are all these people? Are these all... Your name even Zoe? Sir Sawyer? <laughs> are these all Ajira folk? Take me to your leader. No, these are Widmore people. These are Widmore people, aren't they? Ah! Long time ago, before I looked like this, I had a mother just like everyone. She was a very disturbed woman. I had some growing pains. Is he pretending to be Locke? Or is this Unlock talking? Is this the man in black? Why are you telling me this? Because now, Aaron has a crazy mother too. What's up with all these new characters? Are these just Widmore people? They're putting up a new sonic fence? 
Yeah, this is Widmore. This has got to be Widmore. Yeah. New sub. He's waiting for you. It's not me I'm worried about. Just don't know what I'd do if anything ever. Little house on the prairie. <laughs> now, if you spend your whole life worrying about something that's going to happen, before you know it, your life's over. You spend an awful lot of it just worrying. And knowing that people aren't really gone when they die. We have all the good memories to. Is Michael Landon going to talk James Ford out of his depression and his obsession? Dude needs a chat with Miles. This is going to be Miles' apartment, right? He's bringing Miles a flower. <laughs> oh, it's not Miles. You've got to be joking. He blew it. Yep. Go make up. Go give the flower to Miles. What you got in here? None of your business. That locked door, a little blunt, the way we drew attention to it, but okay. Does Sawyer know Charles Widmore in this guise? Do you know who I am? Of course I do. And the fella sent a freighter to the island loaded with guys to kill us all. How little do you actually know? Well, I know you murdered all them people out there and dropped them in a ditch. We didn't murder those people, but I don't expect you to believe that. Good, I don't. John Locke sent me. John Locke's dead. I think we both know the guy I'm talking about. It's not really Locke. How much does Widmore know? Deal. I'll go back over there and tell him the coast is clear. Then I'll bring the old man right to your doorstep. Then you can kill him. Can he be killed? And what do you want in exchange, James? I want to go home. <sighs> I suppose we do. Oh, okay. Thank you for taking care of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Man, I do not trust Claire right now. It's okay. I'm checking her for knives. <laughs> but, okay. It's okay. Maybe she's not quite as far gone as we thought. Or maybe there's hope. Well, in case you're interested, they're all dead. Well, that's terrible. What happened? He, he, John killed them. He must have. Can the smoke monster go to Hydra? On that island that ain't gonna let us get on that plane without a fight. Oh. Widmore. Oh. There's a locked room on there. Something there hiding. And they're setting up pylons. Want to keep out that smoke thing? What is? And what did you tell them about me? Uh... I told them. I'd tell you the coast was clear and bring you back with me. Walk you right into their trap. Why? I appreciate your loyalty. Deal's a deal. Huh. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. Who's Sawyer? Read it. When I was nine years old. Hunting down since the day I left the academy. I chased down a lead in Australia. Got a name, Anthony Cooper. So we can assume he didn't do the murder in Australia in this version? Why didn't you tell me any of this? I mean, you're trying to talk me out of it. Damn right. Fair enough. Whoa! Is that Kate? That's. Is that Kate? Yep. You. Son of a bitch. So why did... Wait a minute. Why did Sawyer let her escape at the airport? Why did he do that? Just because she's hot? He's a freaking cop. Why did he ask the... The airport cops what their codes meant? He probably knew. What's for dinner? What on earth? Rabbit. Did you find the plane? I'm gonna let them fight it out. And while they got their hands full with each other, you and me are getting the hell off this island. We ain't taking the plane, Freckles. Taking the sub? Taking the sub. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, every additional episode of The Flash Sideways is just more and more fantastical. Like, you're... No one is supposed to believe that this is what the world would have been if the island didn't exist. Too many other things... Too many other things happened. And 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 again, like it just doesn't make some some things just don't make sense. If Sawyer's a cop, if sorry, James Ford is a cop, why would he just let Kate escape at the airport? Help her escape, you know? Like man. Anyway, anyway, it it was fun as heck though. Seeing seeing Ford and Strom as partners, that that's a blast. Nice to have a little uh, Charlotte cameo. Uh, well, sorry, not a cameo, but bring her back for a guest episode. That's fun. Uh, Charlie's brother uh, made an appearance, which makes me think we're going to see Charlie again before season six is over, which would be awesome. It would be great to have a, a Dominic Monaghan episode. Yeah, I was trying to figure out. I, I was trying to figure out what what. What Sawyer was trying to do there, spilling the beans to Locke, you know, like, you you know he's trying a long con of some sort. Uh, it, it makes sense in that if he came back and did what he told Widmore he was going to do, say that the coast was clear, Locke probably wouldn't believe that. Um, so he told them exactly what did happen. And now Sawyer just wants to save him and Kate, it sounds like. And they're going to take the sub. My theory is that, that Locke killed, sorry, Unlock, killed all the other Ajira survivors. All those bodies. Uh, I'm going to say they didn't look shot. But um, didn't you know they didn't show them in graphic detail because hey network television, but uh, I'm gonna say unlock killed them the smoke monster took them, and yeah, but maybe not, maybe not. The plane is there, it's in good ish shape, but uh, you know there's an impaled co-pilot in the cabin. What did Frank say? Why, like, Frank said something like in the moments after the crash that justified why they couldn't just uh, turn the plane around and take off again. Uh, something must have been damaged. But he landed the plane, and they still would have had fuel because they weren't in Guam yet. Um, but yeah. What exactly is Widmore trying to do? Like they're, you know, obviously they're setting up the fence because he knows that the fence keeps the smoke monster out. He's there for Locke. He wants Unlock. Like I, I guess, I guess my question is: is how much did Widmore know back when he was the leader of the others? And you would assume quite a bit. He's probably spoken to Jacob um, on more than one occasion. Or is, is Widmore a pretender too? In any case, is, is Widmore's mission a good one? It's all about keeping the smoke monster contained on the island? Because that, that, that's essentially it, right? And he's just doing it with brute force. So we, we kind of have to reevaluate all of Widmore's actions in the past. Like, why did he send the freighter exactly? It was there to take Benjamin Linus. And... and retake his own position of power on the island but is it because he I mean there's more to it than just um, keeping the smoke monster at bay he wanted the island but he probably accepts his duty about keeping the smoke monster at bay can you even kill unlock I don't know is, is he killable Jacob's kill Jacob was killable so maybe unlock is why isn't Richard? Richard's tried killing himself multiple times, and Richard can't die. Jacob gave Richard. I'm I'm, I'm just going on like tangent city right now, so you guys are just buckle in, go on a ride with me here. Um, 
Jacob touched Richard and gave him a gift, which appears to be his immortality, his inability to die. We know that when Jacob uh, visited our our key cast in the past, Kate, Sawyer, Son and Jin, Jack, Hurley, Saeed, he touched each and every one of them. So did he give each and every one of them immortality or is that why they've all managed to survive on the island and whatnot? Um, the only one, ironically, the only ones he visited after the crash, after they were the Oceanic Six, were Saeed and Hurley. So Saeed and Hurley, if that's the case, Saeed and Hurley survived entirely on their own um, on the island, which for Saeed makes total sense, and for Hurley kind of makes total sense too, because he's the luckiest man in the world. Like I said, Tangent City. There, there's not a there's not a, a through line here, guys. I'm just like going wherever my brain goes next. Can can we get a spinoff, which is just uh, Ford and Strom, PIs or not PIs, um, LAPD detectives? That could be a lot of fun. I love how much I've come around on Miles. He was so freaking annoying when we when we first met him, but uh, yeah, I dig I dig his I dig his sarcasm now. I definitely dig it. it and, and he and he and Sawyer are a good fit. So as far you know, like we we've talked about how the Flash sideways has kind of given a bunch of our character's peace of mind and i'm not sure we can say that about sawyer yet but i also feel like his story isn't finished because we we concluded on that cliffhanger of him capturing kate so will he find peace of mind he's he's making progress he's he's finally talking about sawyer with his partner and listening to Michael Landon on Little House on the Prairie, um, you know, if, if if we spend all of our life worrying about the future, i.e., capturing Anthony Cooper, then we miss out on life. And uh, you know, we, we we were kind of hit over the head a little bit in this episode about Sawyer. Are you going to die alone? And I don't think he wants to die alone. I don't like how quickly he's, um, maybe he's not moving on from Juliet, but, but I don't like seeing him reconnect with Kate quite like that. Although I'm hoping that this is just friendship. They've been through shit together. I get that. Um, I hope it doesn't go that way. That would be entirely disrespectful. Um, but yeah. I still have no idea where this show is going. I mean, we've, we've got... We've got Locke and his army. We've got the folks on the beach. The original Survivor, Ville, who we didn't really see at all this episode. Ben and Jack and Hurley and Son. Lapidus. Ilana. Miles. Richard, and then we've got Widmore and his army, and Sawyer engineering a, a Lock Widmore battle. I mean, does do Survivorville just sort of need to stand back and let that battle happen, and then step into the power vacuum that it inevitably leaves behind? I don't know. I don't know. This show, man, man, this show just keeps keeps you on your toes keeps you guessing keeps you questioning everything you thought you knew and just overloads you with so much information that uh, you know, every time I do one of these postscripts and I sign off five minutes later I, I smack myself upside the head because it's like oh crap I didn't even talk about that huge thing that happened um because something even wower happened just minutes later. 
and that's all I can focus on. Anyway, loving this season. Really unsure of what's going to happen next. It just feels like, you know, we've got... We're, we're just putting the pieces down on the chessboard, and I don't know the rules of chess. Is kind of how I feel. Like, I just don't know what's going to happen next. Can you even kill John Locke? That's an important question. Can, can Unlock be killed? Let's hope he can. Let's hope he doesn't get off the island, because I don't feel like that's a good thing. Anyway. Until next time, everybody. Take care. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers.